Hi folks, this is Dave Higgins. Several people have asked me how I created this particular effect in Topaz Studio. First I start with the picture that I have made all of the adjustments I can to make it as attractive as possible. It's important to start with the best possible image you can make. Then I go into Topaz Studio. I use mostly my own effects to manipulate my pictures and they're available for you to use as well. If you're going up here and you just type in which is the name of the effect and here it is. I usually duplicate the layer before I start working with it. If I just take the effect, click on it, and we can see it's going to come up. Now, I created this effect because I wanted to have the ability to create very large strokes so that I could counterbalance it against the finer detail in the image. Now we can adjust the stroke size by just going in and moving this slider. You can also change the amount of strokes So I'm just going to set it there for right now to start. Now this layer is just laying over the original image. If we get down here to mask, and we open the mask layer, and we go to brush, and you want to turn the opacity down fairly low, I can now go in and I can erase through this, and I can bring up the image underneath and so I can bring these big strokes in just where I want them and we can go back in and adjust the size of the strokes in a minute which I'll show you how to do now I want to clear a little bit more of a way so I'm going to increase the opacity of the brush but it's better to bring in the pieces slowly so that you have more control. And I'm just trying to bring in the areas that I want to create the emphasis in and allowing the large strokes to simplify the rest of the image. So this is pretty good. Now I'm just going to click done and we have our mask layer. Now if I go in, I can do several things. I can change the opacity of the layer to blend the two together. I'm going to take it back all the way up. I can now go down here and I can change the size of the strokes. Okay, that's looking better. Now I can take those down a little bit. Because I want to be able to recognize the sky as a sky. And move the opacity up a little bit. Okay. I'm not getting what I desire here, so I'm going to try something else. I'm going to go down to texture, all the way to the bottom, and click original, and then it's going to let that show through. Now we're going to go back up, and now it's beginning to look the way I want it to look. Now if I decide that I want to have more of the area in, I don't know if I've never tried this, I'll click on this and see if we can get that to come back up. Yep, it comes back up. 
I can now go in and I can use the brush and I can turn the opacity back down and I can go in now and, and, and selectively put some of those big strokes back in. Or I can take it the other way and I can take them out. But I have complete control over where I put them and as you saw we can control the size of the strokes. So that looks pretty good. That's probably what I would want. Now there's another adjustment that I want to show you. If we go to done and we scroll back down to where it says painting process. I can also change it here where it will refine that sky area or take it back up to the big strokes. And you see I really can have a lot of effect, a power with the effect by using this painting process. Well, that's all there is to it folks. I hope you enjoy it. And here we are, back in Photoshop.